Hey guys, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. Real quick, I'm talking about GME GameStop. We take a look at the 52-week high and it's $65 per share, right? And that was prior to them having the liquidity that they have now. That was prior to them having the $5 billion in cash that they have now from the share offerings that they did. So they sold at the high point or near the high point so that they can make money. And um, that's great news. So you think, well, it was $65 per share when they didn't have the $5 billion. Now they have $5 billion. So where do we go from here? Some very elite people on Twitter X are saying that GameStop may become something similar to Berkshire Hathaway. And the reason they're saying that is because of the massive amount of money that they have. There haven't been a lot of companies that have that kind of money with no debt. Or little to no debt, you know, very, very, very minor little debt, you know, that that they have. <clears throat> um, you know, for example, we talk about AMC versus GME. AMC has five to ten billion with a B dollars in debt, and then we take a look at GameStop with with zero debt, maybe a hundred thousand dollars debt, small little debt. That it's just not really debt. It's just that they have it on the books, you know, to um, um, use as a tax deduction and those types of things, but. Um, you know, we take a look at wh where the potential for this is in the short term. And, you know, I think that they've pushed the stock down a little bit just to try to shake some people out because we know we're going so much higher. 52 week high of $64. So we should be at $120 very soon, very easily. Then when we get to 120, people are going to start buying in and jumping in like crazy. And then we can see some massive gains from there. That's my thought on GameStop. I'm keeping a very close eye on it. Any news or um, topics that come up, I'll be sharing with you. And same thing with AMC as well. I'm watching that as well. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.